in kubernetes also there are vulnerabilities that are discovered time to time there are back doors that are discovered time to time in kubernetes there is something which is called kubernetes releases and every few months there is a new kubernetes release with the latest kubernetes features now when the release comes out and let's say there is a new cve or a new vulnerability then there is a patch for that particular release now in order to maintain your safe healthy environment for your kubernetes clusters and the application that are running inside the kubernetes cluster we need to make sure that we are always upgrading or have an upgrade strategy for our kubernetes clusters so kubernetes upgrades play a big important part in maintaining the secure safe kubernetes environments kubernetes upgrades are also important from ck certification point of view because it lets you upgrade and avoid the vulnerabilities in this video we'll go through a proper kubernetes upgrade and i'll also show you the documentation so that you need not remember all the commands but you should remember the flow and in the documentation where to go and search for that so let's get started now i am inside the ix labs and I'll put the link in the description of the video and I have created the Kubernetes cluster playground. Now this is the playground and I am inside the control plane of that. Now what I'll do is I'll try to see what all Kubernetes versions are available for the kubeadm. What all versions are available basically uh, 1.32.2 and what is the current version kubectl get nodes 1.32.1. So let's try to upgrade from 1.32.1 to 1.32.2. Now, kubeadm is a tool to bootstrap the Kubernetes cluster. When we talk about the general 90% plus scenarios, most of the people are today using managed Kubernetes or they are using some different tooling like Cobbs, Kubespray to build the Kubernetes clusters. This particular case is when you have a self-managed Kubernetes cluster provisioned by kubeadm and you want to upgrade that. So, in this particular scenario, let's try to achieve this so i already have this repository of ck certification in that there is kubernetes upgrade and these are the commands that we need to run so the first command is basically these three now what these three do is app mark apt mark unhold kubeadm now there can be cases where and it's also the best practice like when you install a particular thing onto linux operating system or on anywhere you should hold that so that if you do the app upgrade there is no upgrade of a particular utility without you knowing that it is being upgraded so it's better to hold that so what we are here trying is we are unholding if there is a hold on kubeadm then we are updating and we are installing the 1.32.2 and then we are again holding the kubeadm so it, it said that kubeadm was already not on hold. But if it's on hold, you need to run this particular command. Now kubeadm version and we'll be able to see 1.32.2. The same has to be repeated on the worker node as well. Let's come back to the control plane node. Now let's apply the upgrade. So we said sudo kubeadm upgrade apply v1.32.2. It's run some checks, pre-flight checks and stuff. So it said, do you want to proceed? I say yes. And it is doing the upgrade. So it's a success. You will see this particular message that a control plane of your cluster was upgraded to v1.32.2. So kubectl get nodes should give us 1.32.2. Wait, it is still giving 1.32.1 because there are a couple of more things that we need to do. We need to update the kubelet and kubectl as well. For that first, we will drain the node. So we'll do a kubectl drain of the control plane node and ignore the daemon sets. Now it is drained. The next step is to install the 1.32.2 for the kubelet and kubectl. Same thing we'll do. We'll first unhold it. And then we'll install the latest version and then we'll put on hold. Right now in this particular scenario, there was it was already not on hold. So it's pretty uh, simple. And then we have set it on hold. 
and now we do the daemon reload and the restart of kubelet on the control plane node kubectl get nodes and we see that the control plane node is v32 1.32.2 we can now uncoordinate kubectl un cordon the control plane node kubectl get nodes so our control plane node is updated and ready let's move to the node 1 in node 1 we simply do the upgrade of the node and the command we ran is cube adm upgrade node so here we did the cube adm upgrade apply for this now here we did the cube adm upgrade node and now we again drain it let's go to the control plane node and clear it instead of the control plane draining we drain the node 01 it is successfully drained now let's install and update kubelet and kubectl on the node 1 and do the daemon reload and restart kubelet and go to the control plane kubectl get nodes and we can see that node 1 is also 1.32.2 now we can kubectl uncordon node 0 1 and kubectl get nodes we have it ready same can be done for the third node as well now in your certification exam what you can do is you can search here you can go to tasks administrator cluster administration with kubeadm and upgrading kubernetes clusters and you will be able to see all the commands that are ran so apt mark unhold install the specific version of kubeadm then see the kubeadm version you can actually see the plan as well before applying and then you can do the upgrade apply of 1.32.x in our case we did 1.32.2 and i showed you that this particular command that it is successfully done now if you want to do it for node it's the upgrade node now you have to drain the node so you drain the node you do the cube ctl and kubelet install of the latest version you do the daemon road reload and restart kubelet and then you uncordon the node same step is for the worker nodes so i hope you got a gist of how kubernetes upgrades are important why you should upgrade and how you can upgrade it using kubeadm in general for managed kubernetes services there will be a simple uh, icon or a button on the ui which just says upgrade uh, so you can do that a few of the gotchas that you need to remember is before upgrading there are some breaking changes in the kubernetes version usually not in the minor versions but the major versions so if you are up doing the upgrade from 1.31 to 1.32 you need to understand what all are the breaking changes and uh, are your workloads and the api specifications the versions the SKU versions that you are using are up to date so that's it about the Kubernetes upgrade. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this particular video. Make sure to subscribe to this particular playlist so that you can crack the CKS certification exam with ease and also understand the concepts of why every concept matters and why this certification journey is important. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, then do like it, share it, subscribe to the channel and the regular stuff. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.